Is it okay to pick a kid up if you were trying to help them? I think you handled it perfectly and you got consent which is the big thing from the kid before doing so. I know there's a lot of awful people out there so of course people will be a bit wary, but yeah, good karma your way either way. Your intentions were genuine, and the parent was grateful for your help. I don't see an issue with what you did. I'm a mom and I would be grateful for the help of a friendly giant. The problems would be smuggling child away like in American football or getting too handsy. You did perfectly. You asked the kid, the parent saw him and collected him no harm done. Frankly, any parent with their head screwed somewhat on will prefer seeing their concerned kid's head pop up across a room than lose them altogether. The kid wasn't upset or crying that you picked them up, the majority of folk recognize that and will appreciate your help. Some folk are irrational as all hell. Those are the ones you need to learn to let roll of your back. Returning the kid safely back to their parents is the goal, not how the parent will react. And frankly if they were more concerned at the method their kid was safely returned to them when it caused no pain or discomfort to their kid then they have their prioritizes messed up. If we get to a point in society where grown men are afraid to help children, all hope is lost. It's one of the jobs grown men have. I mean you need to always be thinking, but yay helping kids is a good idea. It was the right call. There is no perfect way to handle this it's almost the lesser of evils. If a small child appeared to be lost and a stranger picked them up the parent could easily overreact. What if the child is hysterical or in emotional distress? Then from someone's perspective you could be attempting to harm the child. All of this is outweighed by the possibility that the child could be in danger or need help. So 100 times out 100 I'm helping that child regardless of what the consequences to me are, because I know I'm well intentioned. Your action was appropriate because you asked for the child's consent and it directly led to a positive outcome reuniting him with his parent. Generally, it's important to ensure the child's comfort and seek their agreement before physical contact. However, always be mindful of the situation and consider alternative methods when possible, like guiding them without physical contact or seeking help from event staff. Your intention to help was clear and commendable. Nope, that's perfect. I'm a short female and I've had to put a kid on my shoulders so he could see over everyone's heads for us. Asking the kid's permission is key. Always. And yes, there's always the risk that a parent will be upset, even in the face of the kid defending you. But most parents will react exactly like mom did here with gratitude. But even if they don't, you can walk away with a clean conscience. It was a thoughtful and effective approach given the context and with the child's consent. However, perceptions vary widely, and some might find it inappropriate due to concerns about stranger danger and personal boundaries. In the future, staying with the child and seeking help from event staff or using your height to spot the parent without physical contact could be safer options to avoid misunderstandings. Your intention was clearly to help, which is commendable. But cautious approaches can minimize potential concerns. I don't think you did anything wrong, and I've done the same, but I'm an older woman. I found a few lost toddlers in my lifetime, and my experience has been that some of the mothers briefly freak out and run away, then holler thanks from a distance after a few seconds of processing. As a mom I would be eternally grateful if you did this for me. I think that any reasonable person's reaction would be affected by all the things surrounding the situation. Was the kid comfortable? Did you ask the kid if it was okay to lift him or this doesn't have to be oral? I once asked a crying child if they wanted a hug by opening my arms and then she walked over to lean on me and sank into the hug? Were you trying to do something actually helpful like boosting him so he could see and be seen from so high up, or comforting a child who's crying, or lifting a kid up to the drinking fountain? Are you acting respectful to everyone the child included? I don't think there's a blanket don't pick up someone else's kid so much as it is a don't get creepy and don't propose solutions that aren't actually helpful. Yep. You asked kid, he said yes. And you didn't do anything untoward. As for the aftermath, it is a rare parent who is worried about things other than where's my baby. Oh, you found my baby when baby is missing and has been found. I'm not saying nobody would be upset, but they would absolutely not be behaving reasonably or typically if they were. I think picking him up and going someplace would have possible caused you problems just lifting him up and standing still so his parents can come to you? That was a safe good choice. BTWR Tall is also looking for you. You did well mate. I'd much rather have someone call me a weirdo than risk a kid being lost, afraid and at risk from actual weirdos. Most parents will be glad you helped. The ones that mind are the ones you shouldn't give a shit about if they are careless enough to lose their kid and have the nerver to go off at you then fuck them. I think in general, just asking the kid's permission is all anyone can be expected to do here. You realize that you were taking a risk. Your actions and intentions were positive. You had dozens of witnesses. 
What you did is a wonderful example of it taking a village to raise a child. I applaud you sir. Only a moron would have an issue with you helping their lost child in that way. If you are a good person with good intentions and helping the child do not second guess yourself in these situations, 99.99 of parents just want their child back unharmed. As a dude ill let a kid die before touching them. I'm not risking that shit. The stares I get from people when I'm just walking down the street holding my daughter's hand are bad enough.